Hi, right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Listen, pull up a chair real quick or sit down. Listen to this, right? We covered this story when it first happened. This story grabbed Jamaica by the neck because the story involved four children, right? And to find out that it was a family member that did this. I remember the story recently, the young youth, Russian Barnett, who killed his cousin, and her four children five murders in one house in one go he has now given a statement explaining why he did what he did everybody been wondering like what could have caused all this why would somebody do this right there were many theories out there scamming money gone wrong and all these other things in the dip on coke and in mud out and all these kind of things we're gonna give you the story all right first of all we got contacted by somebody who says they're close to this situation so Flo, please don't use my voice note i told the person we have technology now so i can change your voice and still make the people them hear you tell the story the person said no don't do it because they're still going to be able to tell that is me the person explained it by saying Molly was involved. The same party drug there when near Molly and popping Molly's and having fun. I don't know why they are marketing Molly in Jamaica to young Jamaicans as some kind of party drug, have fun drug, and nobody is telling them, nobody is telling them about the adverse effects of this drug. Alright? So the person said, what really happened was See the cousin, the cousin have our four children, right? But the cousin is a hustler. The cousin quiet and she make her money. She run our little shop out our house there and she always have our little money. You know, she not go around and beg people for anything. She wasn't a destitute person. She was a working person. She was a saving kind of person. And he knew that she always had something to go on for her. Plus her children's fathers take care of the children. So she always good, right? She always also, according to this person, always also kind of talk down to her cousin, to Russian, but, you know, not in a way where, you know, she never support him slackness. Is a youth who don't have no skill trade, him don't have no degree in nothing. He's not a progressive, productive kind of person. One of them man, they will sit down around the place and crush out weed in them hand miggle all day and you know really non-progressive element kind of stuff so she always harsh words sometimes but trying to get him to go do something with yourself right all right this is how the person said it unfolded the day when him do this to her and her four children he was tweaking in the u.s we call it tweaking tweaking means you've taken too much of that drug or you're having crazy side effects from that drug psychological side effects i don't know if he slipped into a space of paranoia or whatever right now his lawyer and others are having these psychological exams done where they're taking him to go see a psychiatrist to see if he's fit to stand trial and all these things but i think he had a psychotic break from a drug induced psychotic break i hope that they are actually testing him as far as blood tests go drug tests go to see what types of drugs were in his system right anyhow story broke shout out to nationwide nationwide put it out 23 year old roshane barnett the man that is accused of killing a woman and her four children in coca piece clarendon last month alleged to have now given his brother he had given his brother prior warning about his plans now i don't know if i'm try to throw him brother under the bus because his brother actually did an interview and when his brother did the interview uh the, his brother said no me never know nothing about this me, ne me could have never suspect say no sir a good youth you know like he didn't know nothing about nothing but he himself is telling law enforcement that yeah, him didn't even tell him brother, said he was going to do it. A witness, a maternal cousin of Barnett says that he was in Barnett's company the night before 
the murders took place. Barnett today pleaded guilty to murdering Kamisha Wright and her four children. Remember, you know, this is his blood cousin, you know, and he murdered a girl and her four children, 15-year-old Kimanda Smith, 11-year-old Shara Lee Smith, 5-year-old Rafaela Smith, and 23 months old Kishan Henry. Now, here's the thing. This story is going to get a little gruesome or rough to listen to. So if you're not, if you're the squirmish kind of person who don't really want to hear them details here, then this is where you need to exit stage left. Lead prosecutor. I'm giving you five seconds to exit stage left. Can I take a get grimy now? Lead prosecutor, Andrea Martin Swaby, revealed the chilling details that are now outlined in Barnett's caution statement. You know, when the police ask you, so what happened? Give me an explanation. Tell me something. Because we are trying to understand how this come to this. All right. In this moment, he started to give his explanation of what took place. Right, who was present, he says, grabbed the money. Now, listen, Barnett stated that one night he was at his cousin's home, Kamisha right and two men came by and the two men ordered some things like i told you the other person says she run our liquor shop out our place and these things two men come there and the two men ordered some items and he served them now she didn't give him no permission to serve them because she don't really want him in our money and selling stuff out our shop because is a man where we take the money See? So two men come, them ordered some stuff. Him served them. Wright, who was present, says she grabbed the money that he collected from the two men. Grabbed the money all time hand, right? And told him, don't serve none of my customer, dead man. Me don't want you to serve nobody. Me don't want you to serve anybody. Right? Told him not to serve her customers. Barnett now tell the police them say she did this in front of the customers and him they feel disrespected, you know. He says she also flashed some water in her face at the same time, like some like a boy boy thing. Y'all use a nobody. Yo give me money man, you know, make you talk to him like him a dog and thing, him feel so him feel. So him feel shame. You know them say, shame broke neck. Mm hmm Cause you have other man now, round there, seeing these kind of treatments. And them are say, oh, yeah, how should I deal with the G, so? It look like, you know, it means a nobody. That kind of stuff. He states that ever since that incident, her attitude towards him and her children's attitudes towards him changed. Paro the boy, Paro. She probably told her children again, don't let Roshane serve anybody out of the shop. So the picnic them probably look upon him now when he come in our shop or when he come around like, you know, the, the, mommy no want you in our stuff. But him take it differently. He told the cops now, he says, during the night of Monday, June 20th, at approximately midnight, he was at the home, at his cousin's house where the children are, and his cousin Kamisha told him, lock up the place, time for lock up the place, right? Close up shop, it's late, we are going. He told her that him here a vehicle outside. People probably are come for buy stuff and I'm here, I'm here a vehicle outside there. She look outside and she said, nobody in the outside man, lock up the place. Barnett says he looked at her and she looked back at him as if she saw that he was preying her. Like, yeah, pre me. I size her up. This is what him tell the police, you know. After she said, she not see nobody outside. Lock up the place. 
he was standing behind her, looking at her in a certain manner, like he wanted to do something to her. His claim is that the way she looked back at him was as if she realized, say, he might look upon her like he wanted to do something. According to him, he says that she moved towards the dresser, but never see what it was. But it looked like she picked up something, like she was going to do something to him. I don't know if them put this in there as a grounds for which he can plead self-defense like my cousin was going to stab me up so I stab her up first kind of thing. But this is what it seems like. Now according to Barnett, his cousin made some, after something, she reached for something from the dresser. But him couldn't really see what it was. Him said that him now, quote unquote, pre in the heavens, that it was a knife are scissors may i tell you about these drugs and i'm telling you about the side effects and the paranoia if these drugs induce a certain kind of mental illness to where the person goes schizophrenic and the person starts hearing voices kill this person before them kill you look she are reach for your scissors she gonna stab you up she are reach for your knife that's how the mind is working right paro so now your mind is saying, yo, stab her up. Stab her up before she stab you up. And the person who called us to say, so Flo, don't use my voice. This is exactly what the person said. And it matches his confession. This is a confession. They call it a caution statement. This is more of a confession. See? So I'm saying when she reached now for the something, remember I know, she just tell him lock up the place. So she never in a no mood for a fight with him, argue with him like she go stab him up or anything like that. Him tell her, say, him hear noise outside, car pull up. She look, by his own account, she look outside. That mean if car was pulling up, she would have probably go serve who wanted to be served, then lock up, right? Him take fear look the wrong way. She go stab me up. She reach for the dresser, I don't know what she reach for, I look like a knife or a scissors or something. In his caution statement, he said that he had his knife on him. And so, me just stab her up. Can you imagine this? Me just stab her up. Two of the children, he said, rushed to the dresser and started throwing things off at the dresser at him as he was stabbing her. You no need to walk with the store because the man stabbed the girl multiple, multiple times. All that is about to come out in the details. This is him telling the police, say while him a stab her up, two of her children rush to over, over towards the dresser and start grab items pan the dresser, lotion buckle, Vaseline buckle, whatever did they pan the dresser, perfume buckle, them a fling everything after him. Those of you who are in my chat room, you know some people went into the house and they videoed it and then put it on WhatsApp, right? We can play them video there. On YouTube however we got to see the room and the condition of the room and I said to my audience the room looked like somebody ransacked the place and was looking for something well it wasn't the case it was the children by his account throwing everything in the room at him to get him to stop stabbing up their mother so as he was stabbing her up this is him talking he says two of the children rushed to the dresser, started throwing a lot of things after him. He said again that he didn't see what it was, but him grabbed both of the children them and him started stabbing them up too. The eldest child now, he said, grab a pair of scissors and he went after her and she run. But while she did a run, she fall down and as she fell, him start stab her up as well now you can imagine man this is chilling you can imagine you know she probably run out of fear and she probably didn't grab no damn scissors but in a fee mind she grabbed scissors the same scissors or knife he thought he saw his cousin grab before him start stab her up when she actually didn't grab nothing so him said the eldest child grabbed the pair of scissors and went after him go after her and she run but she make for run and she fall down so him start stab her up too he said when everybody was dead 
him change off him clothes and him dispose of the clothes that he was wearing him shorts and he disposed of the knife as well this sound like somebody that was out of it but clearly thinking at the same time because it's like him go out and come back in mentally because you have the wherewithal to know that everybody is dead so now i need to start hiding evidence change my clothes get rid of the knife and get rid of the bloody clothes right that not sound like somebody who lost it completely and stayed gone mentally the findings of the postmortem was also revealed in court here is what came out in court kemisha wright who is the mother she received 48 incised wounds in the region of her neck her chest her abdomens and her arms and her legs 48 so all when she dropped them it must stab her up and it must stab everywhere that's why the children were flinging everything off at the dresser after him the cause of death in her case was hemorrhage and shock and multiple sharp force injuries that's what's written as her cause of death that's the mom 15 year old commander smith which is the oldest child had nine incised wounds and four stab wounds 12 year old charlie smith had 22 incised wounds and two scratches with a cut throat wound to the neck so i'm cut for her throat stab her up 22 times and cut her throat that's the 12 year old the 15 year old him stab nine times the five year old rafaela smith received five incised wounds and a gaping wound to the upper anterior of the neck that means say, him cut the neck of the five year old as well the prosecution intends to prepare victim impact statement from family members now victim impact statement family members might come out and say you know she was a good girl the children were quiet and well kept and well mannered and all these things you might have people who come out and say i don't know what happened to roshane we've known him since he was a little boy yes him did kind of prob troublesome but he was just full of energy and him never really a bad kid and all this 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 type of statement is meant to humanize the victims it's meant to gain sympathy for the victims which will work against the person being prosecuted and also it could also work in his favor because it's going to humanize him because everybody is going to be looking and saying this is an animal man normal people don't kill a woman and all her four children kill five people in a one go with one knife what rage especially for the reason that you are saying it happened she looked like she did a pre you she looked like she realized you did a pre her and she did a go grab something to stab you up come on now and that make you kill all our kids them and her why didn't you just walk away Roshane? it's not your place you don't live there why didn't you just leave leave the mother and her children cut from around there and say since you're my cousin and you deal with me so always i talk to me in front of people like say me is a nobody so you splash water on my face the other night and drag the money out of my hand and tell me in front of people don't serve nobody out of my shop tell you pick them if it make sure say me not serve nobody out of the shop and all that me just a go cut me not come back around you again cause you not treat me like you love me like a cousin see you could have left but you stayed around and again the person who said please don't use my name so flow or my voice that person story kind of matches this because if he had to have been on something if you listen how fast him commit five murders with one knife and everybody is saying but if him did they stab up the woman why the picnic them never run out of the house and run go get help or something as a child or even as a grown person you ever stand up and see a person get stabbed yet all 20 times yet it's frightening 
I see people get stabbed one time in my presence and it's frightening. So you're frozen. And as babies, children, you got to think the first thing they're thinking is save mommy. I have to save mommy from him. That's why they back up in the dresser and start fling everything off of the dresser. See if they can lick him with something to make him stop. They didn't know he was going to come for them next. They couldn't see that far. Them can't pre-evil that deep. Them are children. Big people like me, you know, we would have run. Cause the first thing would have come in our mind is, Ross, if you must stab she up, so I mean, I'm going to stab up next. I'm out. Unless you have a gun and you can't shoot him or something. Right? It's tragic as rotted, man. Tragic as hell. It was also read out in court that cousin says he saw this are the next cousin now, you know, who said he was in Russian's company the night before he did all this. Him now also said, as it was read out in court, that him see Barnett with the knife and Barnett told him, him say, me go warn my brother out of Chapelton, so me I go kill some people tonight, so him feel look out of him, yay. This makes this premeditated. He already went there with the intentions to hurt her. Not only her, but to hurt her children as well. Because, listen to the words. Me, me warned my brother out of Chapel Town. Now, remember, you know, the brother do an um, interview and the brother said he never know nothing about nothing. Well, the cousin is saying that Barnett actually told him that he went to Chapelton and he warned his brother. And him tell him brother say, May I go kill some people tonight. Some people. He never said me I go kill somebody tonight. Or somebody tonight. He said me I go kill some people tonight. So him feel look out time yai. In other words, look out for what I go, go on next. So he make up his mind say he was going to kill her and kill her children. Why? It rough bad and that is where they sit with it a social inquiry report well as an antecedent report will also be prepared for the next scheduled court date which should be september 22nd of 2022 according to nationwide radio jm attorneys representing barnett tamika harris says that although a psychiatric evaluation has found him fit to plea she intends to have further discussions with the psychiatrist concerning his health, his mental health. Why? That's why I'm in a ramp with people. And don't keep nobody too close to me. Because you never know. You just never know. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. It's a tragic event. I'll catch you on the next video. Who did one know why him do it? There, you have it. We will continue to follow this story through the court system, into sentencing, and whatever happens next. So hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time these updates are uploaded to SoFlow TV. I'll catch you on the next video. Walk good. Peace. all nice and flaky very flaky when you make your cross it have to be flaky like this it all right my soflow tv audience listen if you have not found out about this channel yet and subscribed to this channel and started following this channel called eat good tv i suggest that you go do so now i did not even know that sweet potatoes can make a punch i did not know that bummies can make burgers i have never had pineapple pork before i'm not even that good of a pork eater but after seeing this lady, Miss Margaret, over at Eat Good TV, do the pineapple pork, I tell you, say, I wanted to try the pineapple pork. Listen, man, she is setting the bar high, all right? And if you're into Jamaican food, I know you might be able to cook it already, but I guarantee you, you're not cooking it like she's cooking it. 
she is adding a twist to it. So, Miss Margaret, big up yourself over at Eat Good TV and Soul Flow TV audience. If you're seeing this, please go find Eat Good TV and click that link and tell her I sent you. 